everyone, it's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. This couple got happily hitched nine months ago, Christina and Robert Garbo. Our next couple who sided their vows eight months ago, Charnette and the Kim Ray Brown. This couple traded rings one month ago, Jody and Steve Lasensky. Final couple celebrated their union 20 months ago, Lucy and Johnny D'Agostino! And now, here's the star of the Newlywed Game, Bob Eubanks! Thank you! Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Newlywed Game. And a special hello to our four couples. Nice to have you here. Tell you what, let's do. If you are ready to play the game, first of all, we must send the ladies off to our soundproof room. Ladies, if you would, please. Hey, gentlemen, in round one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. A couple of the most points at the end of the show wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and here we go. Gentlemen, here's what I want you to do. First of all, I want you to stand up right there on the couches. Would you do that for me? <laughs> Now, fellas, I want you to roll both pant legs up above your knees. Go right ahead. Roll them up, John. Socks down. Okay, good. <laughs> like a picking fence. I want you to take a look at the other guys on the, on the show. Take a look at the other legs there on the show. And uh, tell me, which set of legs will your wife say is the sexiest? So, which, which set of the legs? Did your wife say is the sexiest? Uh, John, uh, do you think it would be number one, number two, or number three? I think it would be me, but if no, I... No, no, the other, other guys. guys... And believe me, you're not going to get any votes. Uh, uh, <laughs> geez, you know, between Takeem and Just Robert, one, John. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Robert, I guess. Okay, number two. Okay, that, that's great. Now, Takeem, tell me, would it be number one, number two, or number uh, four? <laughs> Sex in his legs. Number two, all right? We're good. Uh, Robert, would it be number one, number three, or number four? Can I see your legs? No, you can't see my legs. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, man. Pick one before you fall down. Johnny over here. You gonna pick number four? <laughs> Steve, number two, three, or four? Four. Number four. All right. Gentlemen, sit down, please. Thank you. Okay, gentlemen. Of all the women you have ever been with, what will your wife say is their common flaw? Of all the women, Takim, you've ever been with, what will she say is their common flaw? Um, I would say probably their attitude. They got a bad attitude. Yeah. All right, Robert? Oh, I'd have to say uh, money. They just want to spend that money. Yeah, okay, see? Uh, Bob, I'd have to say, uh, Jody would say uh, needy. They're all needy. Needy. Wanting to spend a lot of time with me. Um, they were needy. All the time. Yes, okay. Johnny? Well, at least I got one question right. The answer's psycho. They were all psycho. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. If your wife were to jump up in the air and land squarely on both feet, what part of her would she say would take the longest to stop jiggling? <laughs> Why is she going to jump up in the air and land on both feet? What part of her is going to take the longest to stop jiggling? Uh, that definitely has to be her breasts, Bob. Her boobs? Yeah. Okay. Steve? Uh, her thighs. Thighs. Boing, boing, boing. Her thighs. Okay, Johnny? Uh, it's absolutely the breast, Bob. It's the boobs. Yes, yeah, the boobs. And Takim? The boobs. Boobs. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands can predict what their eyes will say right after these messages. We recorded your predictions on cards and I have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. Ladies, we're glad you returned. Gentlemen, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take the cards and put them down on the floor to your left there. Would you do that for me? Just put them right down there. And guys, if you come up here and just line up out here in front, just line up right out here in front. That's good. Gentlemen, if you roll both pant legs up, face the audience, Johnny, then roll both pant legs up above your knees. That's it. Yeah. Socks, socks down, Takeem. Both pant legs, Johnny. Don't try to get your own show. I've already got it. Okay. And both pant legs down. That's it. Good. Now, now stand like this, guys. You, which one of the other husbands do you think has the sexiest legs? All right? Okay. One more turn, guys. Just for, we want to show everyone. Yeah, that's it. Okay. 
Now, guys, right, now, now without rolling your pant legs down, I want you to go back and sit down and take the cards out, would you please? Just go back. There you go. Uh, <laughs> okay, ladies, which one of the other husbands now do you think has the sexiest legs? Jody, would it be number two, number three, or number four? What do you think? I think number three. Number three. What is it about his legs you like? What is it about them you like? Well, they're nice and muscular and... They're fat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at his wife laugh. Uh, Steve said you would like uh, you, you like old skinny number four's legs down there. Yeah. Jody, they're just like mine. You like dark hair. Hey, what's so bad about that? Well, do you, his legs are just like yours? <laughs> she picked me, so she should pick legs that look like mine. His <laughs> legs are like hers. <laughs> Well, uh, okay, Christina, which one of the other husbands do you think number one, number three, or number four? Number four. Number four. Yeah. What, you like the little thin guy down there? Well, it's just like my husband's legs. Like, he's got little legs, and I love him, so... I I'm, see, okay. He you predicted you would love number four's legs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Shornette, number one, number two. Are your husband's legs fat, Shornette? No. No. Are number one, number two, or number four's legs? I'll have to say number two. Number two's legs. Your husband said you love the legs of Takim, hold up the card for me. Number two. Yeah, you got it. All right, let's see. Number one, number two, or number three? I'd have to say number three. Number He's three. All right, your husband said you would love the legs of number two. Okay. Just, just leave your legs just like they are. She said they're more like mine. Hey. Next question, ladies. Of all the women your husband has ever been with, what would you say is their common flaw? What is their common flaw, Christina? Um, <laughs> Look at all these guys well, in there. Uh, he's only been with, as I know, one other girl besides me, and I think she was uh, shy, I guess. She was shy. All right. He said of all the women he's ever been with, the common flaw of all the women is they love to spend money. <laughs> they love money. All women do. Charnette, of all the women he's ever been with, what is their common flaw? They all cheated on him. No. Oh. Oh. They did. On the big guy? On the big guy. No kidding. Yes. He said their common flaw was uh, their bad attitude. Oh. They all had ridiculous attitude. I mean, if they cheated on him, they definitely had a bad attitude. <laughs> Let's see if all the women he ever dated, what was their common flaw? There were whiners. There were whiners. He predicted they he would say. Everything. Their common flaw was. They're psycho. Every psycho. one of them. Psycho. Psychotic. Psycho. You're the only one. You're so psycho. Jody. Well, um, I have to say that they were psycho and they were all psycho. To him, it's very important that they're the same religion and all his other girlfriends weren't the same religion and I'm the same religion. I see. Yeah. So, okay, Steve predicted to say all of his other girlfriends were all very needy. They need to spend a lot of time with him. You always say, I need to spend a lot of time with you. Yeah, he thinks you're needy also. Yeah. Me, I'm always just spend, you know, not that spending time with me is bad, but just that it's like always like... You just you just need some room, right? Yeah, a little yeah. space. Yeah, if you want some space, yeah, lock him outside sometime, get him the space. <laughs> Next question, ladies. If you were to jump up in the air and land squarely on both feet, what part of you would take the longest to stop jiggling? <laughs> Charnette, you're gonna jump up in the air. You're gonna land on both feet. What part of you? Could you just jump? Would uh, what part of you would take the longest to stop jiggling? Uh, my breast. Your boobs. All right. Takim said it would be your boobs. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Lucy. I got to say my boobs also. Your boobs also. He predicted to say it would be your boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Your thighs. Your husband predicted it would be your thighs. Yeah. Yeah. And Christina. Well, I know this is, has to be right. My boobs. Your boobs. Yeah, you got it. Okay, we'll be back with the wives. You see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages.
move it off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. Here it is. Ladies, if your husband could adjust your love life the way he tunes a radio, what knob will he say he would go for first? Would it be the volume, the balance, or the frequency? Charnett? Probably the frequency. The frequency he would adjust. Right. Is he complaining? Um, well, he's kind of like an Energizer bunny, and I'm kind of... Well, it just keeps ready. on going, huh? Okay. Exactly. Christina, would he adjust the volume, the balance, and the frequency? It doesn't have to be frequency. He frequency. always wants it. I'm and sorry. I'm, he gets home so late, I'm just tired. Yeah. Jody? Definitely frequency. Frequency also. Yes. Okay, Lucy. I would have to go with frequency. Okay. You guys sound like you're all married to the same guy. <laughs> Ladies, if your husband had to stand up and sing a solo at a funeral, what song will he say he would choose to perform? He's got to sing at a funeral, Christina. <laughs> I love this oh. question. Big girls don't cry. I don't know. He sings that to our daughter all the time. It's Big girls like, don't cry. Yeah, he always sings that to well, our daughter. So. Singing at my funeral, I'll tell you that. Jody. Um, does humming count? Because there's No, he's got to sing. Well, there's this song that they always play at the hockey games, like right before everyone comes out. You know that song? <laughs> he's going to sing at a funeral the song they play at the hockey game? Well, yeah, that's his favorite song. What is it? It's, um, it's the hockey song. The hockey song, okay. <laughs> Lucy? I would have to say, um, this sounds weird, um, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. <laughs> <laughs> Say a song called Cry On. Cry On. Uh huh. By Commission, a gospel group. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the last of our 10 point questions. Ladies, who in your family will your husband say is most likely to end up on a wanted poster? First name only, please, Jody. Bobby. Who's Bobby? That's my sister. Your sister's going to end up on a wanted poster? Yeah, because she's kind of wild. She did? Yeah. Whew. Okay. Lucy? I would have to say my brother, Ellie. Your brother, Ellie? Yes, he's very quiet. With a name like Ellie. Murder. Yeah. yeah. Turn it. Uh, probably James. Who's James? An uncle of mine. Your uncle James? Right. Bad guy? Not a bad guy, just he's just gonna end up on a water everywhere. Poster. Yeah. All right. Christina? Um, my cousin Cassandra, she's uh, pretty wild sometimes. She's getting better, though. Cassandra. Well, yes. tell her I hope she cools down a little bit. 25 point bonus question, ladies. What household appliance will your husband say gets the most use in your home? Lucy? The microwave oven. Microwave, Charlotte? Microwave. Microwave, Christina? Microwave. Microwave, Joey? Microwave. Oh, you ladies are all gourmet cooks, aren't you? All right. <laughs> we'll be back with the husband to compare answers. I'm going to be right after these messages. Scored points two of ten, two of five, and gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these are the ten point questions. Gentlemen, if you could adjust your love life the way you tune a radio, what knob would you go for first? Would you go for the frequency, the volume, or the balance? Robert, what do you think? Knob you would go for first? I have to they say the volume. The volume. Uh, yeah. Good for uh, you. Yeah. Lately, uh, it's been kind of off. Been kind of quiet around your house? Yes, it has. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> you like volume, is that it? Yeah. No kidding. He, no, she said it's a frequency unit. Frequency. Because uh, I never give it to you. That's why you got to turn it up. No, it means how many times you do it. We, the frequency needs to go up. No, the yes, volume yes. needs to go up. Yeah, wait a minute. Who's right? Me. I'm right. Wait a <laughs> But what are you going to do about this slow sex life thing, like, Robert? <laughs> Turn up the volume. Oh, okay. Well, don't get frequency. mad at me. I'm just asking. Frequency. Now he's getting mad at me. Yeah. All right. Takeem, you got to turn up the frequency, the volume, or the, or, or the balance. Um, I was, It's already turned up, so I say even more, the volume. The volume. Turn up turn the volume. Up. All right. What do you mean it's already turned up? I mean, it's already here. Yeah, I just want more. Just... Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> You're the man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the little fat legs, but you're still the man. <laughs> Charnette says that uh, the frequency. What? Yeah. Frequency. What that, means, that means more often. Frequency. How often you do something. Oh, always getting down. I mean, it's just. <laughs> 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 no. 
Man. Volume. She obviously did not understand the question, did she? Yeah, yes, must be. Yes, I did. You didn't understand. What the hell? What do you think, John? Well, what I think and what she's going to say are different. What do you think she said? I think she's going to say volume, but she might not know what frequency Volume, all right. She said that definitely we're going to turn up the frequency. Yeah, see, because she thinks frequency means more often, and frequency is an actual a bandwidth type thing, oh, and she knows time. nothing about that. So, uh, you know, frequency... <laughs> Johnny, you know what the hell you're talking yes, about. Yes, I know. <laughs> Frequency means often. Yes. No, no, no. Not volume. Because the frequency of your radio is your bandwidth. We're not talking about radio. We're talking about volume. We're talking about your love life, dummy. I didn't know we were talking about sex. I thought we were talking about if we were radio. make a living song here. Turn on me, Bob. Steve. The answer Jody's definitely going to say is frequency. Let's see if she did. She said the answer is frequency. Gentlemen, think about this. If you had to stand up and sing a solo at a funeral, what song would you choose to perform? Takim, you're at a funeral. You have to sing this song. What song would you choose to perform? Um, at a funeral. Uh, I would say that Boys to Men song. It's what is so it? hard to say goodbye. To it's hard to say man. goodbye. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Charnette said that you would probably sing Cry On. Oh, man. Come on, right. Am I right? She's right. Okay, John? Yeah. Uh, at a funeral. Yes, funeral. Uh, what song would you sing? Uh, I'm sure she's going to say something by Metallica. I'm going to go with Amazing Grace. Well, let me hear a little. Uh, no, I, I can yeah. carry it too. Lucy said handle. you would sing uh, uh, Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> You're right on that one. I'll give you that. Uh, I'd probably say uh, That's Life by Frank Sinatra. Oh, what? Hey, you're cool. <laughs> That's life That's by Frank right. Sinatra. Okay? Uh, she said you would sing the hockey song. Uh, <laughs> hockey fuck you married. <laughs> Robert. The only song I could think of that she would say, it's not proper for a funeral, but I always sing the song. What would it be? It's from Elvis Presley, Since My Baby Left Me. Yeah. She, would, she said that, no, you would sing, Big Girls Don't Cry. I always sing that to Kaylin uh -huh. all the time. All right, here's the last of our 10-point questions. I won't embarrass you, Robert. Gentlemen, who in your family, uh, actually it should be who in your wife's family, would you say is most likely to end up on a wanted poster? First name only, please. Who in your wife's family is most likely to end up on a wanted poster? Uh, Johnny? First name only, please. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, that's right. Yeah! yeah. Bobby. Bobby, your wife is a good Bobby. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pardon me? Kelly. Dolly? Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Your wife said, uh, no, Cassandra's going to end up on the water poster. Family. Family. You mean Kelly's not in your family? No, no. she's my friend. Oh, you missed another question, Robert. <laughs> good. Yeah. Takim. James. James. James and I. Question. Let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer, you're going to the Caribbean! Spice Island Beach Resort, located on magnificent Grand Anne's Beach in Grenada. Features luxurious accommodations, water sports, fantastic dining, picturesque surroundings, and an intimate setting make Spice Island Beach Resort in Grenada the preferred Caribbean getaway. Back to you, Bob. Thank you very much. 25 point bonus question goes like this. Gentlemen, what household appliance gets the most use in your home? Couple two, Robert and Christina with 10. 25 and give you 35. Robert. TV. The TV. She predicted you would say the microwave oven. Couple number four, Johnny and Lucy with 15. 25 and give you 40. Get it right, you'll be in first place. Johnny? Appliance is a microwave, not a television, so it's a microwave. Microwave! Yeah. Yeah. Couple number three, Takim and Jeanette. You have 20, 25, gives you 45. Take over the uh, lead with the correct answer, Takim. Microwave. Microwave. She said microwave. Yeah. All right, couple number one, Steve and Jody with 25. 25 gives you 50. Get it right. You're a grand prize winner. What's your answer, Steve? TV. TV. Oh! She said the microwave. Couple number three, Takim and Jeanette. Oh, I'm going to do that, Steve. Grand prize winner. Okay, so our couples, thank you. We'll see you next time.